Hey guys, uh, just a quick video of the uh, Axial SCX-10 Dodge Power Wagon I picked up last night. Uh, got my brother here. We're going to just do a little video, uh, just kind of messing around with it and uh, just testing it out. I know I haven't done an unboxing. I'm not going to. There's plenty of unboxing videos. Uh, I will do an overview of what I think of it uh, with these tires and the 1.9 uh, mud slingers that I have from RC four wheel drive. So I'm going to hand the camera to my brother and I'm gonna, we're going to do a little bit of filming. Right, give me a second. Okay. There you go. Make sure you keep it on the truck. Yeah. And keep my finger out of it. Yeah. The finger cameras. Yeah. This truck handles pretty well as far as obstacles. Uh, there is some body rope. That it does have some. It has the 1.9 rip saws. Wait, wait. So it does rub against the body. Uh, I may do a little bit of trimming. Uh, I will be getting another body to use with my GoPro. Uh, mainly because I'm a big Dodge fan, I really like the way they did this body. Very realistic. Of course, then again, it is a realistic trail truck. I'm using all stock electronics right now. Uh, I've got it set to 50% drag brake with a Traxxas uh, 3000 milliamp, 8.4 volt, 7 cell nickel metal hydride. Stop gearing. <clears throat> We're gonna piss off these ants for a minute. I don't think they pissed them off enough. Yeah, that'll be fun. <coughs> and uh, what about the battery? I already said the battery. Oh, battery position. Oh, it's uh, the axial power wagon already has at least this one, already has the battery forward mod. Uh, it comes like that from the factory, which I'm so thankful for. It adds a lot, it keeps all your weight up front. Uh, I get in front. probably will eventually do the, uh, uh, the motor forward mod. I'm going to waterproof the receiver, or just get a practice waterproof box for it. I'll, we'll see. Ah, oh, man out. The truck ain't complaining. But nope. you're getting in the way. I hope to be crawling in this creek soon. It's probably what, about 15 feet wide? 
15, 20. 15 to 20. Maybe a little more. Did have all this cleared out back when I lived here. You can hear all the body rub. Anything else you want to say about the truck? No, not at the moment. So far, scale of 1 to 10, how do you like it? It's a good truck. It's no, by no means perfect. But as far as I know, I haven't found a flaw with it other than battery, or uh, body rub. I love the way they set up this speed controller where I know we try to. Like I'm used to, you have to press and hold the easy set button to change from LiPo to nickel metal hydride. This one, you just pull a tab out and move it over one pin. And, uh, and it's set from nickel metal hydride, and it's the same way for the, uh, same way for, oh crap, what is it? Uh, oh, the drag brake. <clears throat> the drag brake is set, you can have it set at 50 or 100. It's on pretty well. I don't have to grab it and move it too often. Only every now and then. And these 8.4 nickel metal hydrides work really well with it. It can handle a 3S Lyco. So that's 11.1 volts roughly. So it handles handles really well with batteries. Really great handling. I love the adjustable shocks on it. Like I said, I'll do a video where I can, uh, I'm going to do a video where I can get a good in-depth look at it for you guys. I know there's other people out there, but I'm doing this for me and all the few viewers that I do have. Mm -hmm. Some of them want to see it, some, someone may not have it and want to know how it runs. I did my research before I bought it and, and uh, then one once it came out. Go over here, my little rock course up quick. My hands are getting cold. Yep. articulates very well. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Little video of it. Sorry if it's so long. I'll probably edit out edit out us walking, and uh, see. I'll get you a good uh, good video when yeah, I can, can, guys. We'll take it easy. Mm -hmm.